Hello my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Ali Pearl. And I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful 30 inch unit, guys. And let me just go ahead and get straight to it. I'm showing you guys what the cap construction looks like. As you guys can see, there is a lot of lace on this unit. This is a 13 by six. And that means you're gonna get 13 inches across and six inches back full of lace and as you guys can also see the unit does come pre-plucked which is always a plus but you guys know i'm gonna go ahead and just pluck it slightly slightly ever so slightly i'm not really gonna do too much because they actually did a really good job in plucking this unit Okay guys, so now it's time for me to go ahead and try this unit on and <laughs> this unit is definitely big head friendly. Just gonna let you guys see what the lace looks like on your head scalp all around guys you could do a very deep side part on this unit and this is something you don't get pretty often. I'm gonna lightly dust some powder on the inside. Okay, so now it's time to cut the lace. Today I decided to use a scissor. You guys know I kind of alternate between using a scissor or an eyebrow razor. It's really just whatever I have available at hand. They both work perfectly fine. And for today's install, I'm going to make it as simple as possible. I didn't do a ball cap or none of that. You don't even really need to do that. I'm just using my Goss to be glue hairspray and spraying it down on the sides. Now I am on my way to Vegas. It's Memorial weekend. We have a big weekend plans for some turn up so i want to make sure this <laughs> wig does stay on i don't want any incidents if you guys know what i mean and this got to be glue hairspray is just fine enough for my day-to-day -day activities as long as i don't plan on going on no roller coasters or doing anything really ridiculous it's gonna um hold me down and when i'm finished all i like to do is just apply my elastic band let that sit on the head for about five minutes and while that's happening i'm going to just move on and begin styling so as you guys can see i am trying to decide on where to part this lace and as i showed you this lace can be parted you could if you want to do a really deep side part that is an option that is available however i'm not going to go too deep on the side part this is about as deep as i'm going to go and then i'm going to just go on top of that using my faithfully asia beauty wax stick and using my hot comb and this is going to help sleek and lay this unit down so that it looks natural and doesn't have a wiggish look and now what I'm doing is when you really want your unit to lay flat, just kind of go underneath beyond where your part is going to be and take your wax stick and the hot comb and flatten that area down. And that's going to make the unit lay really flat. And now I'm just laying down the hair in the back so that everything looks pretty good. And since this is a very long unit, it is 30 inches, I'm going to lightly dust the front with some layers to allow this hair to shape my face. This is optional. Again, I, when I have wear really long units, I do like for it to shape my face as opposed to it just being one long length. And that's basically what I'm doing right here. And for this install, I actually wanted to try out 
and see if there was a difference between pre-cutting the lace before spraying down the Gots to Be glue spray or melting the lace with the elastic band before cutting the lace off. I usually alternate between these two type of installs, but I've never actually done a comparison to see if one gives more of a natural look from the other. So I decided to do that in this video. And quite honestly, I'm not really sure I can see too much of a difference from either. If you see a difference, please comment below and let me know. As you can see, the part on your right, but it's really my left, is the part that I cut off before laying the got to be glue hairspray and the section on your left which is really my right is the part that I cut off after melting it with the um, elastic band so comment below let me know if you do notice a difference This is the side I didn't pluck. So this is what it will look like if you don't pluck the frontal. It actually looks pretty good. And I didn't pluck this because the hair is going to wear like this. So it's no sense in me already plucking this. And as you guys know, frontal is already naturally shed. So I'm gonna let it shed on its own when it gets to the point where if it say starts balding on this side, then I could easily just flip over and then have part in space on this side. And it's like starting new. So if the part of the hairline is not going to show, I'm not going to pluck it. That's what I'm doing new. So this is just something that I'm doing to try to preserve the longevity of my wigs before I would naturally just pluck the entire wig in one go. But it really don't make any sense to pluck the parts that you're not gonna show. So I'll let you know if I can extend the life of my wigs by doing this method. You're welcome to try it as well and leave me feedback and let me know how that works for you. So guys, as you guys saw, there were um, some white patches or some white spots on the lace when I initially finished the install and this powder that I apply, is, which is my Maybelline Fit Me powder and I believe it's 355. I'll have everything linked in the description box down below. That is gonna basically help make the lace blend in with my complexion. Tie it down one last time. And right here, I'm just simply adding some light curls to this unit. I don't want them to be hard curls, especially since this hair is so long. I just wanted them to be loose curls and to give this hair some type of definition. And then last, I like to add some of this hair shine to the hair. This gives it a nice sheen without making it too oily. And now I've taken the elastic band off and voila, this is what the install is looking like. I'm actually really loving it. I was actually really in a rush um, leaving out today. We, me and my homegirls, we rented a private jet to fly to Vegas. And you guys already know I'm always late. So your girls gotta go. This is a final look of what this hair and install looks like. This hair is absolutely beautiful. I will let you guys know that I did get some shedding 
and tangling with this unit however i still do love it before i leave guys i am going to need your help in naming this unit go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below i did pick a name for the unit i reviewed last week the new name as well as the person who submitted the name will be listed across the screen Dolls, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. And as always important, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.